Hello everyone, this is Patty. Today is Christmas Day again. We are going to make Christmas trees. Um, and I am going to put in some of my uh, shavings from the soap left over. And I'm going to use these ovals. And we're going to put, we're doing an old fashioned Christmas theme. So today is a Christmas tree day in July. Oh my goodness. So I got my oils and everything already in here. I also have my fragrance in there, which is almond from Nature's Garden. And it behaves very, very well. It's very, very strong, so I don't have to use a lot. And it just makes it very, very mild. I think if I can describe the almond, which is a beautiful one that they have, it would be uh, Jurgen's Lotion, the uh, original. That's what it smells like. It smells good. All right, let's get to it so that I can show you my piping. <laughs> Yes, it's old-fashioned, all right. Okay, I'm going to add my lye solution and get this baby on the road. All right, soaking in my jam as well. Jam bottoms today. <laughs> Kittles are outside playing. It's a nice cool day in July. So they're out there playing. I guess mommy's got a, a plan tomorrow, a little uh, trip down the river. I think it's the Iowa River. It's not the Mississippi. They're going to go canoeing. Aren't they lucky? Okay, that is going to be my red, and I don't want very much. And that is going to be my green, and I don't want very much. So, I will set those aside and pause you for one minute because I forgot my TD. Even though this fragrance uh, doesn't uh, change colors, it doesn't darken, uh, my oil, the extra virgin olive oil, has a lot of yellow, green, greenish yellow, so that is why I'm going to add the titanium dioxide. And as I said before, I put it in here after I did that because this does have water in it, and this is water base TD. When you do it this way, you really, really need to incorporate it very well. Did I do? Oh, right in front of me. It would have 
and a snake it would have bit me. to add my shavings and it's going to make a, I think a, a lot more than this but that's okay because over here nothing fancy I don't know if you can see this but I just put this sheet in a cookie sheet and my pour will be, the leftover will be over there inside that. And then I am going to use this cookie cutter for another Christmas thing. Um, not thing, but a soap, you know what I mean. So then after uh, the 24 hours or 18 hours, I will cut them out. And I will show you that one when we get ready to do it. This All of it in there. And we will just stir it in there so that they're all got new raw soap on it. way to make a bigger batch of soap and you get to use all of the shavings you just don't throw soap away when you're a soap maker you just make more all right I think that's good enough let's get to pouring Jeremy's got some boxes outside. I could not lift them to bring them in the house. Um, he has solar panels. Yes, he is going off the grid. So, I don't know where their runs were. Oh, yes, I do. I remember him telling my favorite state besides Tennessee and Kentucky is Montana. My dad always said, I know I'm going to lose you to Montana when I was a little girl. Um, and I love to look at road maps and different stuff like that. And I never even been to Montana. And I would tell him, Daddy, when I grow up, I'm going to live in Montana. Oops. And he said, well, why would you do that? And I said, because I just think it's a beautiful state and I've never seen it. And I go, is it? And he just laugh and I'm making a mess. And he would just laugh at me and he'd say, yes, it is a beautiful state. It's very diverse. You have plains and you have mountains and the very first time I ever went to Montana, let's see, how old was I? Oh, it was when I came back home was when my daddy told me that he has cancer. So, let's see, 18 months, so it would be, I was probably about 37. Saved up all my money 
guy, the, the guys, the boys didn't go with us, but we made it a girl trip. And I took three weeks off and went to Montana. Every bit I bounced all over that kind of pig and state. And yep, I was right. I absolutely loved it. And I wanted so bad to move. And I came real close until my daddy was sick, so I changed plans again. But my favorite part of Montana, and Glenn lived in Montana, but it was in a different part of the state. But my favorite part is the Bitterroot Valley on the western side. Just snuggled up next to Idaho. Oh yeah, Missoula, but it's a little too big. But on anywhere on the outskirts, north or south, and a little bit west, yep. I'm telling you, I fell in love with it. And the Glacier National Park, Oh my goodness. I took, I don't know, probably two days because we want to go all over the state. Two days in there. I just absolutely loved that national park. So beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. I never, ever, and you wonder how in the world did I land up in Iowa? But I did. And my trucking years, any load I could get to Montana, I was for. Absolutely love it. It's just beautiful. Okay, so I have this much left over. Yes, I'm going to pour it in this thing and let it set up. Then I'll cut it with my cookie cutter and then we will decorate it the next day. I know you can't see what I'm doing. But you just gotta trust this old hillbilly. I'm doing it. Even if it's wrong. And I mean if it turns out wrong. I had to I don't know. I think it was the Lord getting a hold of me about that, but it's not doing something even if it's wrong, like misbehaving. It's just if it didn't turn out, just do it and see what comes up with the idea. And I use that towards soaping, folks. I keep myself in a heap of trouble most of the time. Don't need that kind of trouble. Alrighty. I should be able to get a few squares out of there. We will see. And I have to go and do some running around for Glenn and get my pills this time. And I am such a home body person. I don't like going nowhere, but I will. Okay, got this. And we'll let it set up. And then I will bring you back for the piping. Well, Miss Abby decided to join us, huh? Yeah. Yeah. She's going to watch Granny do some goofy Christmas tree, but this is what it's going to look like, believe it or not. Yes. It's a funky one, isn't it? Uh-oh. Hang on. Okay, as we know, that was Papa, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He always knows when I'm soaping, but... I'm still waiting for this to set up a little bit more. So looks we like will. Whipped cream. Looks like whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be a little bit tighter. But we are using this for the bulb part. But I got to get this part done because I got to do the bottom. The, the bottom is brown. Ah, it's gonna be red. I'm not gonna. 
it's um, in a pot, so it's a red um, pot. Does that sound like yeah should be? Okay. All right, it'll work, won't it? Yep. So with it being a little bit loose like that, what I will do is see if I can pipe it a little bit better. Okay. Here, oops, <laughs> is the crazy drawing. So that bottom right there is a pot, Abby, and it's going to be red. And then the little dots are going to be red, and the rest is going to be green. So the star is going to be green? The what? The star? No, they're going to be little round red bulbs, like Christmas bulbs on a um, what was that movie, or that movie, um, okay. Charlie Brown, remember his Christmas, huh? Yeah. Remember his Christmas tree and they all made fun of it and all like that, so, yeah, that's what it's gonna, it's not gonna be Charlie Brown's Christmas tree, but it's okay. going to be a, just a kind of a weird. We have Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. tree. Yeah, wouldn't that be something, so. I hope I don't drag my. So we're gonna make the pot, Abby. The pot. Yeah. We're gonna make the pot. That one's better than the first one. You just better be quiet. It's almost open. So I'm gonna get you if you don't just it's leave my ketchup. pot alone. I have to catch up the red stuff. You know what? What well, does? Maybe you should just go play with your brother. No. All right, then quit with my pots. It will fill in, baby. Okay? Mm -hmm. Trust me? Yeah. You do not. <gasps> she does not trust me. Except for when there's a storm or something, huh? Should we talk about that? You nope. want to make fun? All right. I don't want to go see my granny. And then your mommy goes, well, I'm right here. So why do you want to come see your granny? Because you have a dog. And I have dogs. Oh, no, it's not. Because mm -hmm. we, we feel safe together, don't we? Yeah. And if I'm scared, I won't tell you. <laughs> no, we'll pray. And then the storm goes away, and it's not so bad, is it? It still looks like a cup. Yeah, you know what? I was trying to be nice to you. You should girl. have French fries too. I was trying to be nice. You should make a French, a French ketchup and French fry soap. Do you know that Katie over at Royalty Soaps? I think she did. And I haven't seen that video yet. I just saw the. Um, that it popped up, so I can't wait to look at that. And I'm going to make sure that you watch, just so that you know what I'm not talking about. And it don't look like ketchup. <laughs> you are so funny. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. I know you do. <laughs> Especially if there's a storm. <laughs> Need I say more, little girl? Nope. Okay. Because you know I would lay down my life for you, don't you? Yeah. You know I'd protect you. Are you going to put sparkles in there? Are you trying to change the subject on the uh, storm? This one looks bigger than the other. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, no, no, seriously. You are just as bad as your no, mommy. No, not that, but look at it. Oh, my these goodness. Are, you these just quit, the quit picking it. Quit, just quit. It's supposed to be... A funky Christmas tree like Charlie Brown's, but I think it's like more um, what they call folk art. That's what I'm aiming for. If you don't know what it is, you know what you're supposed to do, right? Mm -hmm. Go look it up. I think you would be quite interested in the art, the folk art. Yes. And since you got hillbilly blood in you too, that would be really something for you to research. Now, you want to mess with me, little girl? Huh? I think that one's bigger. My little Charlie Brown? Or should I call you Peppermint Patty? No! You don't like Peppermint Patty? She's got freckles, but you've got them. I do not. I know, but Granny does. Come on. <laughs>
All right, we want to get the red out of there because we got to reuse it. My little peppermint patty. Or should I call you Lucy? That's your sister, huh? Lucy? The one that sets up the stand and mm -hmm. that's your sister, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're not talking about Brianna. No, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so if we get rich and famous over these folk artsy kind of... Um, I think we ran out of space. Am I right? Uh-oh. Well, okay, let me set this up and I'll bring you right back. Okay, we're going to try to get this done, Miss Abby. Maybe we'll just do a few of them if this thing is going to come out. Okay, so as my drawing, I am going all... Oopsie, that is red. We don't want red. Come on now. No red. I thought I got it all. Well, let's see. It. There we go. Green's There's green. green now, huh? Green. I hope I don't drag my... There is the stick. The stick. And then we're going to go like this. And like this. And this. Taylor's eating her bowl. And that. Now what I'm going to do is take a toothpick. A toothpick. And I'm going to go like, drag it down the middle. Why? Because I can. Does that look more like a tree? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw me do that, but... Anyways. Shaky, shaky. That could take a flower if you look this way. It's like a rose. You know what? You quit with my art. I'm just saying, it looks like a rose. If you look at it this way, if you look that way. You just quit messing I'm with just my... I'm just saying, if it looks this way, it looks like a rose. What does it? Yeah. Do you like it? It's a tall rose. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm tired. Did you two stay up late last night? No. No? No, I stayed up till like one. No, it's okay. What? <laughs> I'm just I'm, joking. I wasn't even up at one. I had a headache last night. I stayed up till like ten. Maybe eleven. I wasn't even up that late. I wasn't, I was never. Usually well, I'm I think I, I got up at one, uh, one, because Danny woke me up and he was sleeping on the bottom of my foot. Like, really. oh, is he scared? I don't know what his foot was. Yeah, I just told him to get out because I, I... Do you want him to go with you tomorrow? To go canoeing? Yeah. I don't really care. It's your choice. Really? I don't care. I, can, I, I think that is so neat of you because you guys are usually bickering back and forth. But I win every time. Uh, oh. I swear, it, I do win. Why? Because. Because you're older. Yep. And he's just fiddling around to see how much he can get away with it with you. And every time he tries picking a fight, I win. Of course. Because I'm stronger. He says, but he wait, he works out. Yeah, so. Guys always want to be stronger, don't you know that? Yeah. Well, then what are you doing, girl? Again? I'm not I'm not the one who picks the fights here. He's the one. But I can't wait going canoeing tomorrow. Oh, well, no, I yeah. think no, it's not tomorrow, it's seven. No. I think it's seven, but yeah. Okay, we're running out of space, but anyways, I'm going to show you what I'm doing at the last one and then give you guys a flyby. It's a flyby. Oh, it's just what we call it when we pick it up and bring it in real close. Mm -hmm. Let me know if it stays on. Okay, well. All right, and then we will put the sprinkles and everything on it. Sparkles. Yep, sparkles. We've got to have sparkles. There Tree they are. One. Tree number two. Woohoo! So, Abby, can you say goodbye? So we can get Bye. this. Bye! <laughs>
Goodbye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you later in the next video. Have a blessed day. Yay. Bye. Bye.